No, it's not working. It's a good idea though. We'll, we'll keep trying. What is it? October? It's the beginning of October. There's Christmas decorations up in there. just gorgeous for me but it's just selfie paradise and to be honest with you I'm not seeing anything that's particularly interesting as far as street selfie goes but it is beautiful up here found a composition I really like but uh, it's using a gap in the bin somebody was there but they didn't get a camera I thought if somebody was on the left on the right side taking a picture the tower on the left would be quite good but so far not happening Kicking myself this morning because I slept in. I'm pretty pissed off about it because <laughs> it's gorgeous. So that it's, it's still only about eight o'clock. I, I did a bit of night shooting. I'll show you some photos if I got anything. I don't think I did. <laughs> if I did, I'll show them to you. And um, end up being a late one. I've got live music bars and stuff, and I'm a sucker for a live music bar. So yeah, I ended up in one of them as you do. Uh, chatting to people, didn't get into until gone one. <laughs> I've only got three hours of street photography because the flight is earlier than I thought. And I'm pissed off about it to be honest with because an amazing day in Edinburgh it would have been amazing, but yeah, flights at four o'clock, the quarter to four. If you're looking for interesting details, as always, if you see any shots that you think are just plain boring and not interesting, let me know in the comments. If you see any you think are interesting, let me know and why, because obviously all we want is one photograph, that's all we want, one photograph that we're happy with. Uh, not looking for five or ten like I normally am, we're looking for one decent picture that we're happy with and one that's interesting that we can actually legitimately see the reason I've taken the damn shot. So yeah, no point in this photography, let me know if they're shit and uh, let me know, hopefully we get one. <laughs> Let's get cracking. Did it work? No. no, it's not working. <laughs> it's a good idea though, we'll, we'll keep trying. But it's like, what was your name again? Tony. Tony suggested using this, door, this, this sort of <laughs> shape here or there, that one might be even better. So we've got to get the camera low and... Uh... But you're not a photographer. No, I'm not. <laughs> you come up with a good idea though. So we're going to give it five minutes and see if it works. You try it with your phone. I bet if you get a better picture with your phone, I'll be annoyed. What? <laughs> try it with no, your phone. I bet you get a better... I can't because I, I don't know. Is it going to work? It's going to capture this... Uh... The bin as well. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. She's working the scene. <laughs> good, good for you. That's it. I don't know, but no. You're going to beat me now, I know you are. No. <laughs> you have a better camera. Alex, not the camera. It's, you're just going to prove that it's not the camera. You're going to nail it with your no. phone. See, I like it. I like it. I do like it. Try it with the bin. See if, you're, see if the same thing works with the frame of the bin. So just use the, the frame of the bin. Don't get too close to the bin. <laughs> If you, um, what I was trying to do yesterday was trying to get, like, if you move over that uh -huh. that way, you make this gap small enough to put that in, and then this gap, you can put a person in. Okay. Do you know what I mean or not? It might be difficult with that lens, actually. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> I don't care. No, that, well, that's, that's, that's exactly what I meant. That's what that's you wanted exactly, to Look take. at that. Okay. So you've taken, it's a lovely, it's a lovely location, uh -huh. but it makes the scene interesting because you've got that yeah. geometry, isn't it? Okay, now look. Far from candid, <laughs> you're doing it. You're like you were doing like a modelling pose with your hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Because it's. <laughs> Nothing to grip here. Go on, I got you. Uh, okay. You good. That's it. Okay, so how do I get down there? <laughs> well, you just got to jump. <laughs> <laughs> Should I pull you up? <laughs> oh, see if I can do this. Oh, that's smart. 
come forward a bit. Oh, I like that. I'll lean, lean on the column again, lean on the column. No, no, as in, go on, oh, okay, yeah, that's good. I like that. If you hold that, it's better to look through there because you see mm -hmm. it a bit better and then just use that bottom sort of yeah. knobbly bit. <laughs> Impromptu yeah. model shoot. Didn't think I'd be getting this today. <laughs> yeah. No. They're good, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, it's you have a good eye, so. You yeah, what? Sorry. You have a good eye, so. We've got a good model. I'm trying to use the level to get the camera straight, but lady right in the bottom corner. That one looks more candid. <laughs> Either of it were clearly posed. Oh yeah, I feel like I can actually go home now because I feel oh. all I wanted to do was get one decent photograph from okay. today. <laughs> and now because you showed off, I got one. <laughs> That's just one of the reasons I love street photography. It just gives you an opportunity to meet random people and people from all over the world. But you come to a place like London or Edinburgh and you meet people from all over the world. I've met loads of people on this trip and uh, she was fantastic. Really, really cool. And it's good because I've got that photograph, which means that um, it means that my pressure's off because there's one or two, they're not candid. We know they're not candid. Although I wasn't posing her, she was just sitting there. Um, <laughs> Candid-ish. Um, I'm no model photographer, really. But no, it just takes the pressure off me now because I just I don't feel that, I know I've got one shot. Although it's not candid, I've got one shot. So it just means I can enjoy the next couple of hours before I have to get the taxi back. So maybe, and the, I'm going to be honest, this hunted quite a bit with backlighting. 56 mark ii it hunted a few times um with the bat lighting i don't know if that'll be fixed with the firmware update or what but i was a bit frustrated with that um, and it's in single shot as well so i was surprised uh, but otherwise the shots are absolutely ridiculous and yeah i still don't trust 56s in continuous though i think it takes some getting used to trusting them and the continuous focus i always use them in single shot so yes well, let's go and find a coffee I've just realised I haven't had any breakfast and that's largely because one o'clock in the morning last night I came back and passed a kebab shop <laughs> I've a giant giant chicken kebab which was actually nice and I don't even like kebabs uh, but I was starving so that's why I actually realised that it's 11 o'clock and I'm not hungry let's go let's go have a coffee in here and a, and a cake awesome right let's get on with it I switched over to the 33mm 1.4 because I was just literally finding the around especially around here i was just finding the 56 impossible to to work with it's just it's great for details and stuff but it's just too narrow a view this is the golden mile apparently right let's give this two minutes somebody might walk through here be shame not to get a single shot with that in the background so that's uh... So I went manual there. I've gone lazy recently, I've gone into aperture priority a lot for street photography just so it's quick and easy to you indoors and outdoors. Um, but that was fully manual just because I couldn't get the histogram right and obviously it's crucial I didn't. A lot of black, didn't want to expose the, the sky. Sometimes it's not, it doesn't matter with street photography but it did then. So yeah, sometimes you just really need to, and obviously manual focus well, back button focus at about five meters in front of the camera f8 should have given me enough will have given me enough depth of field so zone focusing yeah i think i think we've only got one but it's not as good as it could have been definitely not I was generally upset, if you've seen my Instagram live, uh, follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Um, I did an Instagram live and I was generally upset leaving there. I was, uh, I was actually close to tears because it was a beautiful day. 
I think at one point I was in this actually. Um, it was a beautiful day, there was blue skies, the people were lovely, I met loads of lovely people. I just felt so inspired by the place, the history, the buildings, the alleyways, the, the charm, the charisma. And, and I just didn't want to go home. I felt so upset that I had to go home, so I can't wait to go back. Probably rain next time I do. Um, but great to meet Tony. And I think if you're not confident meeting people, or if you see somebody and you think, oh, I'd love to take a photo of somebody um, in this environment, and then somebody comes up, I think by the fact that I spoke to Tony and introduced her to what street photography was, showed her a few pictures, she had some ideas herself, uh, shooting through the, the, the bench and whatnot. And then we, we, you know, we spent a bit of time just having a laugh. And then I said, oh, have you been up on that monument? It'd be cool for, for a silhouette shot. And she was like, by this point, she was sort of warm to me. She was like, yeah, okay, great, I'm up for that. So we went over. And by doing that shoot, uh, even though it wasn't candid, it wasn't street photography as such, um, I felt really relaxed and I really liked that photograph. And it meant that I, I didn't have to put that, that pressure on me then for the rest of the day. And that helped me massively because sometimes it's like the last photograph of a day that kind of saves my mental state. You've been doing nothing all day and then you get the shot on the way back to the car, that sort of thing. So I just I just looked at the back of the camera, seen those photographs, I thought I'm really happy with them pictures. She's done really well, it was a good laugh, she was a lovely girl, great to meet her. And um, yeah, it just took the pressure off me. So I think I'll probably have to do a video separate to this one, obviously, on on, on approaching people, speaking to people. And, and I mean, if you've been following the channel for a while, you know I'm always going up to people and talking to them and saying hello. But the key is to do it in a non-photographic way initially. Don't go up there and say, hi, you're gorgeous, can I take a picture? That's not gonna work. Um, well, I don't know, maybe it will, I don't know. It's not the approach I'd make. Uh, but if you, if you if male or female, if you, see, if you see an idea for a photo shoot and think, I'd love for somebody to stand there, and you think, well, if I wait around for a little bit and if somebody looks like they've got five minutes, I might sort of say, oh, excuse me, mate. Um, you know, you get chatting to them and, and what are you up to sort of thing? Have you got a couple of minutes? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for someone. You know, I think it's such an important um, attribute if you can do that. So I was really, really pleased that I'd, I'd, I'd met Tony and got them, them photographs. So, yes. Anyway, I've got a few more Street Photography videos coming out in the next couple of weeks. I'll hopefully try and get one out next week as well. I've just done a video on the X-T5, if uh, you're interested in the Fujifilm X-T5, I've just bought that, so just done a little video on that. And uh, yeah, hopefully see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, see you soon. Take care.